Hello uh, and welcome back to my channel Vishal VFX. Before watching this video guys please do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. So now what we are supposed to do is uh, we are supposed to do some paint work or the car paint work on the body. So before doing that uh, we need to understand certain things that uh, how much the car reflection do you want on the car body or uh, how much diffuse do you want. So uh, let me just show you some certain example over here. So now you can see this car which is which is highly reflective uh, you know, in this case the specular is getting reflected too much you see too much of reflection over here but certainly over here this is another example where you see less, ref less reflection because the diffuse is too strong so this is uh, the way they d uh, it behaves so the uh, what the car so we can go either too much diffused or we can go uh, uh, too much reflection so I prefer to go in the with too much reflection for a while uh, for now. So this is the example that we of our car uh, that it was quite reflective, and you can see that uh, this was some kind of video. I think <laughs> well, that's okay. Uh, oh yeah, you can see. Come on, open. Okay, come on. Where is it? Yeah, you uh, you can see certain uh, the reflection which is uh, having this shape, and they are quite quite visible reflection. They are not uh, some kind of blurry. You see that the sun is getting uh, captured over here, as well as you, this is just a defocus difference, and uh, you see everything over here perfectly, which is good. So now let us go. Uh, this is a really good example for uh, our car the images. And this is a back example, and this is inside. So we don't have to worry about that. We just go and try to work on the uh, try to achieve such as this kind of thing. And you see the tire, which is uh, quite rubber and uh, it's uh, reflective, but it's not uh, the reflection is not uh, like sh sharp one. It's quite kind of rough everything is slightly rough over here so we'll go over here in Maya and we'll select the car body which I have done it before so we'll just select the car body and we'll go in either you can go over here we go here as a standard surface AI standard surface we have applied AI standard surface come on okay something went wrong just let us go and apply AI yeah, standard surface. So now the we have uh, applied the standard surface. What we need to do is we need to go black slightly for our car, and we'll just leave everything as it is, and we'll do an IPR. So now you see a car uh, has some kind of texture on it. But uh, it's quite similar to the one which I showed you it to over here, which is quite similar to this. Uh, less reflective and having too much of light, uh, just uh, having uh, too much of diffuse in it. Okay, so we'll go and uh, leave this for a while as it is, so that we just cover up certain things. And I need a chrome over here, so I'll just uh, add chrome later on. And uh, I need car tires, so I have car tire as well. So these are the tires which are selected. Let us just add a. Oh, um, before that, uh, I just need to make sure that I this is start naming them car paint, so that it's not difficult for me in future to find them. And I'll just go here and name this new material, which is yes, and the surface tire. And we have named them as tired, and we'll go for chrome now. So, where is chrome? Car chrome, yeah, here it is. Here it is. So you can see there a lot of there is a lot of chrome uh, in this car. So let's go and uh, add one more material to it.
and the surface and we'll name as car chrome and uh, you know what uh, the chrome is always metal not this so we just have the chrome uh, like this the chrome work is done and uh, we'll just go for glass and there is one thing that uh, we'll uh, i just let you know the guys while doing the glass work is which is car glass car windows i've selected the car windows now we'll go and assign new material which is a yeah, standard surface and I'll just name it as a car sorry window and uh, also this is a glass we need to get kill everything and we need to have refraction because I want them to be transparent so you, you usually see that there is no diffuse while we have refraction it, it just specular uh, transmission playing over here so transmission is just a refraction kind of thing and uh, what we'll need to do is which is really important we need to select the objects like a whole object uh, like certainly one object and uh, we'll go in class sorry in uh, object where is it render set object display Arnold, yeah. uh, so we need just need to untick this so that uh, our glass is transparent not opaque so just we'll do for everything we'll select everything in this and just click on opaque so now we see that uh, our windows our windows are not uh, opaque so that we can see, see through them and uh, let us hit uh, one more render uh, let me just keep it and hit one more render for you guys we'll do the headlight work separately because it takes uh, it's slightly challenging and it's slightly time consuming so that's why so now you see that we can see clearly see through our window the inside area of the car with the steering and the dashboard the chrome is not reflecting and we'll do we'll fix that So let us just skip this and uh, we'll go in glass shader which is car window and I don't want too much of transmission, prefer slightly colorable so that I can see, I can see my uh, like uh, what do I say the outside area so that I don't need to texture inside I just trying to avoid so I just want uh, this uh, glass window to be reflective too much reflective so I'll just increase the IOR so that I get the uh, reflection now you started to see that we have added reflection on the car which is cool let us just reduce the transmission much more and hit us one, one more render and let us kill the weight and uh, keep the color as that is it, uh, the same so now you see this is uh, our glass which is not too much reflective and uh, it has this uh, kind of shading let us just uh, there are certain places that you can use if you just uh, you don't want to do uh, some R&D so I'll just go over here and uh, just replace this by glass and now hit render So 
so now you see that we can clearly see through our car inside our car and uh, one thing i will do is uh, what what i will do is let us just hide this and just do a small uh, like car interior to have yeah uh, we have something for car interior we will add a shader to the car interior as well this is uh, too much gray and uh, i don't want that too much that to be too much gray we'll go in standard surface and uh, i'll just type over here car interior and we'll just have them slightly dark this much gray inside and uh, not too much reflective well that's okay and uh, where is my car window i just hide it everything just taking that back and uh, let us hit keep this and hit one more render Still, uh, car is uh, quite grey. Uh, so, uh, what will I do is uh, the other thing that I can do to avoid everything is just I can create this as an opaque. So, if you see that I don't see uh, anything inside, it would be just outside mirror, uh, like uh, everything. Uh, Okay, there was something wrong. It didn't do that. Seriously, yeah. Need to go slightly less on reflection. Then let me check. So now you see, you start to see the building and everything over here. And uh, the reflection and everything is looking quite good. But we have, uh, this. it seems like that uh, the light is quite low over here. So we can go in our HDRI and just tell it to have, expose it by 3, I think so, which would be okay. So let's just keep this and hit render once again. Oh, okay. Now that's too much exposed, I think so. Okay, we'll uh, can we'll just uh, have one exposure. So now you see we have a uh, good amount of light hitting and uh, let, let me keep it 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and before doing that we can just go in the tire shader and just have the tire slightly dark. Let us just hit render. So now our car is rendered with exposure 1 and uh, let me check that uh, we will proceed further with the chrome. We will go in chrome and uh, we'll change we don't want any kind of reflectivity from the chrome in, uh, i'll just have some weight and slightly dark like this now let us just hit render uh, chrome might be just slightly visible to us now so 
so now you see that we can see chrome on the mirror and uh, as well as on the car so the property of the chrome is that uh, it, uh, it's not reflective it's uh, it's a kind of ca capturing things just like water so it just captures uh, everything as much as possible and So now you see that uh, texture is looking good. Even uh, there is some kind of noise, and which is okay. The glass is okay. Let us just slightly work with the glass, which is that I want the transmission to be this much, and uh, the interior. Where is my interior? Car interior. We prefer that to go slightly more black. What is black? Like this, and uh, let's just keep our render over here and hit once again render. It's a kind of R&D thing. Uh, every time you have to do that, so uh, I don't have a good, really good system, uh, which is the one case. Or I would have just left, let it in IPR mode, and it would have just uh, real time uh, everything. I would have checked. The other way of doing that is you can just press seven on your keyboard. Wait, let us this this get render. <laughs> or else the Maya can get crash. So now you can see this is much 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 better uh, output compared to the previous that we were doing we can see inside the chrome and everything the chrome is slightly uh, brighter uh, let's just uh, try to settle the chrome and uh, we then we'll work on the car paint i think the tires uh, need some kind of work or else we'll leave the tire as it is for a while so let us just go in chrome select the chrome part and we'll just slightly darken them not too much a bit so that uh, it doesn't stand out too much the chrome is standing out too much right now. Let us just hit uh, one more uh, render. Well, this is good Chrome, a uh, really subtle one, and uh, it's quite good uh, example of the Chrome. Uh, it's not standing out uh, like the previous one, and car is looking really good. Uh, so, in in my next video, what we are supposed to do is we'll go and uh, do the fine tuning of the car paint, and we'll start working on the like uh, as you can see right now, the ground is not reflecting over here, which is the one case. So I'll just uh, teach you how that uh, we can do a certain cheat that uh, the ground will start reflecting over here so the it's more kind of feeling that it's sitting here properly and uh, you can see we'll work on the headlights as well in the next session so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed the watching this video please guys do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon if you have any doubt guys please do ask me in comment section box okay guys thank you